can't just shoot a hole into the surface of Mars. Mission objective right there. Shoot a hole in Mars and Vega just cock blocks him. Great. Good on good on Vega, right? Because, you know, he was basically controlled by Hayden and the UAC before and now he works with you. And he had so many regrets. Oh, look, I have basically everything except this one. Six points. I decided I'm always habitually using this, so why not make it better? Now what do I have to do? Destroy 25 arachnotron turrets using the sticky frame. Now it, it, it makes a bigger explosion. I don't know if it does more damage yet, but it will start doing more damage. Five sticky bombs before having to reload. Cool. This just increases the size. I have two of these. I have one, two left, and I don't particularly like it. Uh huh. Bigger fog lights. Eh. Got all of this. Nearly got all of the fundamentals. That'd be cool. These two as well, really useful to get the cooldowns. I now have this. It now means that there's like two before it has to cool down, but I really want to lower the cooldown out further. And this just makes it do more and knocks people back and staggers bigger enemies. Uh, this lowers duration. This freezes them. Oh, it drops health. And this one means that they stay frozen. They they oh increase damage. So basically it means when you get right into it, the ice bomb and the frag grenade act a little differently. They're not you know, one is like they both get really good later on is what I'm trying to say now. Okay, let's get going. On to Phobos. Ah, oh, Sentinel Prime is a city from our past. They're just packing the lore in, man. Let me just drop the ball on this a little bit. Oh, there's guys on it up here still? What the fuck are you guys doing up here? And you're still with UAC? Why shouldn't I kill you now? Oh, do your hands! <laughs> He's like, fuck. <laughs> it's one scary man, baby. <laughs> oh, really? Pretty sure your elite guards were bitches in the first game. <laughs> I can't change my gun. Wait, what? But I can't pick up that VFG. Don't tell me I just have to run through this. Warning, the Slayer is coming. Run! <laughs> Lowland High is a good, like, that's good choreography. If you're doing a martial arts movie, going low than High and, like, doing lots of, like, variety shit. It's good basic choreography if you're gonna do shit. 
Sup? You a forklift. Yeah. Always locked down. Doesn't really stop me though, does it? Because I just show up and murder everything. Uh, is there a button I'm supposed to be hitting? Hang on. Um. Oh. I had a off screen problem when replaying the uh, last level we did where we retrieved Samuel Hayden. Uh, I managed to get like the door stuck, one of the enemies fell through the world or killed himself by falling off, and it didn't count, and it left the barrier and made an impossible thing. So yeah. Oh, I got some help from that, so that's good. Ow. Cool. Ow. Stabbed in the butt. What can we play with today? You. No, you. I was having fun with this off screen. It's a really cool gun. It just takes forever to charge, and all the perks are basically like, you should be lowering the recharge time. Shouldn't be wasting my good shit on these other enemies. Time for some cattle decapitation. Oh. I'm referencing bands. Walked into an explosion. This looks important. Okay. Uh, oh, the, the big guy's here now. He was in one of the Slayer challenges I did off screen. They're cool. I will actually later replay any Slayer challenges I missed. Oh. And, um, whatnot. Oh, he didn't freeze at all. Or if he did, it was a very short time because he was so big. Ooh. No! We missed the chance. I'll try and stun him again. Oh. Well, I wanted to see new shit and I fucked up. Let's try these. They should be bigger boom, right? What's up here? Nothing! Yay! If they let me, uh... If they let me... Redo all of the Slayer challenges, I might do a compilation at the end of this of just me trying to do those. Because they're quite good financially. But you can just go into the Repertorium and do similar shit anyway. It's the same map. I'm just looking. Oh. Wow, that's... Oh, we got two left. Go fast. Have this. Oh, I like to go fast. I gotta go fast. I probably missed a load here already because I've not been consulting the map. <clears throat> it's because I'm trying to keep runtime low. But, uh... A lot of like closed off areas that I haven't got to fire this yet. Let's try it. <laughs> it's so on the nose. The drummer of my fresh metal band, the last three numbers of his phone number were 666, and he was like, Yeah, I didn't actually ask for them to give me that, even though you're all thinking we, I did because I'm that metal and that's obsessed. And uh, we're like, yeah. And he's like, well, I'm not going to get rid of it now, am I? Now that I've got it. Let's shoot some stuffs. And, uh. So i got to hit that with the thing. 
Yeah. Okay, so yeah, weirdly the big metal protuberance that doesn't seem to be organic at all is uh really helpful uh to lowering their health faster, but like I thought it would just take away their abilities, their options to fuck with you. I got enough chainsaw for you. <laughs> I chainsawed his butt off. As cool people do. Wow. Yeah, now, now. Well, I needed armor more than. Anyway. Let's do some. Let's do some damage. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind talking like a fuck boy. <laughs> Good. He is le dead, as the French call it. One of them died. They're just fucking ignoring me. Rude. Ah, excuse me. to look at well I fucked that up it's really slow between shots so I think it's even a little slower than the uh, the gorse cannon was but it's got some cool like mods this one is awesome, but the charge time, man. Heard you the first time already. Did I pick up everything? Yeah, close enough. Let's see what we got now, what we got, what we got, what Probably just walk by its own. I'm really. How do I get to you? Okay, there's something down here. Oh, I can't go back now. Okay. Oh, there's the pain elemental. Oh, I would show this, but I'm in a terrible position to be showing it, so... Ah! Ugh! Saved. See, he's perfect for Smash now. <laughs> he can get back on the ledges. Ah, helps if I aim properly, but like, what can you do? What can you do? So these guys are basically like, if you didn't, you had never seen them before, they spit out lost souls. They're a pain, but they're like, I really like them, because they're like, big caco demons. Uh, I think someone got stuck there. Well, they used to spit out Lost Souls. Oh, you're, you're much bigger than I actually clocked that you were. Sometimes, bad thing. Oh, hello. So one of the Slayer challenges I did off screen, and I wish I'd recorded it now, uh, was <clears throat> two like cyber demon like guys, but they got a new name. Then one of those running big boys that we just saw that were on fire that were bigger than the big boys, so the huge boy, beast boy with the horns. And then it was one of two of these, I think. No, one of these. The Doom Hunters. So it was a pretty interesting Slayer challenge, and I had quite good fun with it. Let's see what we can do to you. And 
once they're not the boss, they don't have a health bar, so you're just hitting them until they go down. You're just gonna kill this guy. Now that's exactly how they should be, those guys, you know? <laughs> if you're gonna make a, a guy that, like, has a shield and the shield gets overloaded, it should be that the overload is like an explosion that kills. Not, um, what they did in two uh, 2016, which was just, oh, look, the shields failed. Never mind. <laughs> and they're just like, fuck you. <laughs> but, you know. Where's this boy? The boy. The shield boy. I'm just calling everything boy at the moment. Bad times charge that. I'm not really doing great right now, so we're going to try and actually. can take a rocket blast is pretty impressive actually. Uh, what was hitting me there? Oh, well, the green things do damage. No, I'm just getting hit by rockets. This is the wrong one. <sighs> I'm not taking a death here. I'm taking a death here. Well, okay, we're going to try that properly this time. So I was just kind of dicking around there. So there's a lot of super heavy demons that get introduced much later on. Which is cool. The Slayer key. Destroy three arm cannon weak points on Nike Buy. Kill 40 demons with a very big gun. Oh, okay, so we must get that. You ever wonder what, like, Doom Guy's attitude towards the uh, BFG is? Like, you know, because, like, he always picks it up, right? But he's never, like, it's never just around, is it? It's never just, like, in his, like, main crib. Or just, like, you know. He always loses it, is what I'm saying, in between each game. You think, like, perhaps he doesn't like it? But he, he always has a shotgun, is what I'm saying. Just taking stupid damage here that I don't need to take. Let's just not do that if I'm going to be fighting this over here. Now, the only thing they said about these was this is good against flying enemies. Cool. Ah, me. Out of the way.
focus on the big guys because those guys kept respawning. Oh, hello. <laughs> Caught in midair there, I don't think they wanted me to do that. <laughs> that was an iframe. <laughs> that was a hell of an iframe. Abusing them. Abuse, my friend. Dommage. You the exposed or whatever. <laughs> Just keep hitting it until it falls down. Right, let's pick up some stuff and move on. Oh. It's easier than it looked for now. Fucking hell, calm your farm. You went nuts. Stab, 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 a stab. -a. Chill out, man. Oh, they go up and down. They're pistons. Ooh, get Mr. Piston over here. So there's a load of shit I'm missing, but that's there. Uh, blah. Yeah. But like we'll we'll get to that when I've got time. Cruising menus is hardly fun for the viewer, so or reading more. Ah, oh, burning. Oh, it's okay. Should we be 
counting hits like this. I don't like these corridors. These corridors are not great. Full of, full of limited space. to climb the ladder. <laughs> Permanently furious. They, they had to put that scene in, didn't they? That kind of scene. He's not even bothering to kill them, he's just like, whatever, you're not a demon. <laughs> oh, that's why we're on Phobos and not on Mars. Because we're blowing a hole in Mars. <laughs> we see you're trying to blow up Mars. Are you sure? <laughs> Just like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone evacuate. The Slayer has control of the BFG run. <laughs> I love this law building where they just turn the Slayer into a god beast and they're like, at no point get near the Slayer. The BFG is killing most demons with a single shot. Launch a colossal ball of energy. Is it my final gun? Give me something to try it on. Oh, that's bigger than the old, the old one. But it didn't kill everything. I didn't kill Roly here. Roly Poly Oli. Okay, well, I think we've got to evacuate Mars because I have the BFG. Let's just follow what they say. Error. Please tell me we do that dumb thing. Look at this, like, <laughs> we wrecked. Uh, so, um, I really hope there's a section where we abseil from here to the Mars surface, because that makes no fucking sense. Seems we're platforming our way there. <laughs> Almost fucked that up. Cool. Did I miss anything? No. just gave up, didn't they? <laughs> they were just like, oh, you think we're an evil company? Or oh, a misguided evil company? No, we're just fucking evil. We're not Wayland yutani but we're just horrible, horrible corporate bastards. Buff totem nearby, you say, but, um, oh. Well, let's try, mm, should I try and get that secret? Oh, there's a load of secrets. Oh, but we come back, though, so that's fine. It's all connected. I hate it when they just stood completely still like that. <laughs> I just like pew, gungo pew. Nah, I 
dealing with that. Why is this totem? Let's just fuck this. You. Oh, how did that happen? Great dash there. Let's try again. That's not the answer. Not much point finding you until I find a way to murder you properly. For like permanent like. There we go. Now I can murder you. Delicious murder. Oh. Well, I wanted to be a cool guy. You ruined it. Squished. They don't seem to have their own lore in Trio, I didn't pick it up. The, the guns aren't Zambi. I kind of wanted to know what their deal was, because they look really cybernetic T-800. Oh, oh, fuck. I itch my nose for five seconds and I get fucking wrecked. Good. Murder is good. Okay, let's change to any other gun a second. Of course. Mimi, Mimi went to ruin you and ruin your fun. Hey, I'm the fun ruiner, did you know that? Their, their codec is actually just called the fun ruiner. Stupid shield guys. Don't bring them back if they're bad. Why did you need to bring them back? Why do you have to create an evolved version where they just straight up block you from afar like this shit? It's ruining my fun, making it a problem. Who's this loser? Oh, you are another loser. Uh, why am I just using this? Why am I just kidding myself? Um, I got a point for something. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Challenge. That's that guy done. Oh. You. There. Fuck out of here. <laughs> So we're down to a few single targets. The main problems are gone. He is not a problem. I fucked that up. Yes, I have the armor. Counter over here, or something. I saw a pink. Oh well. Let's just progress. Um. <laughs> not looking great. Oh, but there's a thing. Cool. Also, that. Alrighty. Oh, there's some armor in this as well. Uh, gotta go up there to get the other secrets. It's just like. Very reminiscent. Okay. Which way is which? But am I missing anything if I go this way? Because of this box and a single rocket. Oh, I just double backed for that. 
actually no point. Oh, I thought it was a climby wall, but it's an elevator. Okay. Some elevators go by themselves, some you need the button. It's a bit like uh, <laughs> he's gotten so passive aggressive now he's lost his body. <laughs> Samuel Aiden's just like. Okay, that's just cartoonish killing me at this point. I keep saying it, but it's just like, they're just thinking of new ways of it. Like, Hey guys, annual brunch. The brunch is you. <laughs> and you're just like, okay, we get it, we get it, we get it. You're evil. The UAC. The U stands for evil. The A stands for evil. The C stands for cartoonishly evil. <laughs> He's just like, yes, we get it. You're making us walk by all of them. I'm ammunition. Yes, I knew this. Yes. <laughs> if they make a Doom theme park, which they never will, this needs to be one of the rides. <laughs> Fire me out a fucking cannon. <laughs> Man, you know Doom Guy's fine because Doom Guy's fucking hype. Oh, I better crack my neck. Straight back to kill him. Hunting and killing. Right. Just imagine poor Samuel here. He's like, no, don't. Oh, <laughs> why do I even bother <laughs> at this point? He's just like, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> At this point, he's just given up entirely bothering, like, you know, after the whole hilarious... Oh, one of you will do it. There we go. Just have a little peep. Onslaught. Enough, but we'll look at it later. Uh, just want to kind of look around. It's all a bit rigged. Okay, so what are we missing? We can see what's important, but we're probably missing ammo and shit, I don't believe. It's boring. Too bad, a lot of ammo though. Haha, <laughs> you triggered too early. Damage on them is pretty good, where you can cut them in half or just shred a bit. But it's just like I don't really like like these. Okay. Seems to be all of them for now. time. They do a lot of damage as well, which is bullshit, if you ask me. Okay, so back this way is where it was. Might as well if I'm here. Like, the, some of the secrets in this game, they're not very well hidden, so it's pretty easy to just be like, oh, it's like a detour of 30 seconds.
that like they're straight up like really obvious question marks in your line of sight. You're just like, well, I'm just gonna get them, aren't I? <laughs> I guess. I, that, I don't know why I did that. I'm going the wrong way now, but there's a thing up there too. This area is massive for some reason. There's a thing around here because I saw it just on the map. Forward and up. This area is massive and it seems like it didn't have to be, you know. Just feels like a labyrinth filled with secrets, so I'm not gonna lie. And now I'm back here. Okay. Ah, yeah, I see what happened. Is that just a beavery barrel? Haha, <laughs> cool. Big finger boom. Didn't know they came in out of sight this Blowing up things I've already blown up to blow myself up. Gun <laughs> for this for this firing range. Ugh. Right up close to them. Okay. Am I supposed to go down? It's a thing, but it doesn't have a secret on it, so is it important? <laughs> oh, I had to go here. Um, should have timed that more than none, but we did it anyway. Let's just let's just go with it. Oh, and now I'm in here. Okay. Quite slow on the. Oh. Oh. Uh. Let's just keep going. A lot of a lot of things trying to kill me here. Just stop them by killing them myself. Yes. That's a dead end. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> Bad place to be. Stagger as much as the small ones. Oh. Stuck in the corner. 
They're not going down very easily, that's for sure. Uh, what am I missing here? I don't know how to deal with these guys with a uh, hard counter for them, so I'm just hitting them. Because some of them, it's just like, hit them. Jeez. Just not giving a shit. What the hell is going on? Oh, well, you see your health kits. Doesn't matter, because I'm dead. Health kit's kind of in the place where they're kind of standing around. <coughs> okay, so that's a very small area with a lot of running in, so I'm going to have to try and think about how to like mitigate the problem as fast as possible. Fuck, this is not the best way. This is not the best way, fucking jump. guys because in this area dealing with them blocking your route for short periods of time even a second it's annoying Ugh. that melts everything else as well so they just get rid of the range guy because he's a problem too wherever he's gone now he's there blocking my route kill him because he just blocks everything while you're running around like a chicken. And they have projectiles and they're just basically everything. Uh, this one. Uh, this one. Maybe. Getting away from them. Oh, BFG. I have a BFG. <laughs> I forgot. He didn't give a shit because he was jumping. Well, fuck me, I guess. Although that worked, though. Oh, sometimes, man. I wanted it to be a cool moment and he ruined it. Planning to do, but cool. Yeah, let's not fuck around now because it's like <laughs> these guys are kind of being a problem. Let's 
<laughs> they got the regenerating barrels perk, and when they're massive barrels and they very obviously just blip back into existence, it does look a bit shitty. <laughs> Whereas like no fees in at all, no pew hit spark or anything like hell energy. It's just yep. <laughs> Hello, I am here. And you're like, oh out the way. How many of these have I got? Two. He's definitely one for free. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> uh, this one. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, that's cool. Look at that big goo. Supernova. Well, it's just us blowing up the arm or whatever. <laughs> what happened? He just. He just did a flip off the... He's just like, yo, check out my flip. Oh, I died. Okay, so they're not gymnasts. That saved me a problem, because I seriously, like, I, they're, I'm still working out how to cope with them. So there's a thing up here. A thing. And another thing. How to up. How to up. Well, that's also helpful. I see it, but do I need it? Probably not as much as I would like. Oh, I see how to get it now. I fucked up. <laughs> oh, well. I will remain an idiot. But I can do... Oh, no, I can't. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Why am I so dumb? <laughs> no! Oh, why am I going to be facing like on the two inches of platform you've given me? Could have chosen somewhere better to stand, dude. So that's, uh... What the hell is that? Let's look at that. A green! Oh, it's BFG, isn't it? Well, I didn't really need that right now. Oh. choice there. Uh, work. <laughs> Good work, idiot. <laughs> ah, whatever. Oh no, change to easy gun. Yes. Uh, I didn't want to leave quite yet. <laughs> Takes a lot of hits. Yeah, I 
it takes snail hooks. There's a cinnamon old battery up there. And something down below. Oh yeah. How to up. I don't like all of this stuff being just up the whole time. It's like pain in the ass. away. Yeah, we go. So yeah, they're not really like a lot of the um, stuff that you're looking for. It's normally a case of you just look around in the environment and move around a bit and you find that you can get most things that you want pretty easily. Cool, we're going to get this maxed out help. Next we'll max out all the other two. I'm not really big on the health charges blood punch thing. If it means like you pick up a med kit. Fancy. Uh, if it meant that you pick up a med kit and that equals um charging a blood punch, I don't feel like that's good, but if it just means the things that enemies drop, then fine, you know? Ow. Great. people all of a sudden. Those things are just a pain in the ass. Though I've said about them before. Oh, they can freeze though. Interesting. See a little yellow button, press it. It only opens something important. Oh, I wasn't actually expecting it. So irritating. It just feels cheap, you know? Cheap hits. I missed a load of stuff, so I'm always like, I'm not gonna go get secret. I'm always like, I'm not gonna go get secrets, that's silly. And then I spend a lot of the playthrough getting secrets, so. I can see them. I can see him, it's so frustrating, it's right up there. And there's one there as well. I see. Can you see what I see? Can you nearly fall down? Cool. So we got another uh, album. Good. Right, where was the other one before it dropped down? On the opposite side, hidden behind a locked door. Great. Button I pressed. I thought it would unlock it. Okay, there's nothing I'm missing. Ah, I know. The map gives it away a lot too. Ah, 
of like the little things we I love the detailing on those. So that's that. Just zoom in on her crotch there. Cool. I'm alive the non believers. Are these cryopods? What happens if I press the button? Oh, I feel like I was supposed to go to the end of the thing and find a secret now. Yeah, I miss something now. <laughs> Turbulence. On Mars, bitches. Cool, we're just going straight to the priest, are we? Bears. A lot of these. You see, that was barely a secret. Oh, we're just going to put in the direct path. So, you know, a lot of them, it's like, oh, you, there's like loads of secrets, but it's like, you're going to get most of them. Every time it's like five to s like two to five, I'm missing and I'm having to go back for. It's more the optional shit I'm electing not to do. So that's one way. Oh, and that's. Let's see another secret. Okay, like. I started with one or two of these, didn't I? And now I have eight. So we're gonna just. Fill some shit up. What was this one? It refills the dash. Um, good. Make the gun, make the thing charge up better. Make the freeze for you know, less damage. Not taking you. Know. So that makes it more powerful. More, so I'm gonna lower the cooldown on the frag. And we got three of these. So let's just see if there's anything we have that I'm regularly using, like this. So I was just bitching about it, like taking quite a while to speed, and uh, you know, your movement is. So you can still move now. Before you're like, like this. So it's better. Um, I'm going backwards. Let's go and murder some things. Why not give it a test drive? And miss. I have to admit the HUD being all red on a mostly red landscape. It's fucking me up a little bit. Let's go kill some fools. Yeah, if it, all of these, that, if that per kit on uh, the Sentinel crystals is actually just, you know, the the other health pickups don't charge your uh, the standard you you know pickups. These ones you get from glory killing, sure, but don't they? Uh, Yeah, let's focus on the big guys. Why not? <laughs> Gotta share it off sometimes, right? I used to be one of those video gamers, man. Used to hoard like all of the good shit and then never use it, you know, and then I thought, well you're not experiencing it then, are you? So you just might as well just it's not like it's even real, so you don't have to worry about like hoarding it. You can always just play the game again or like whatever. And do it again. 
all about the experience, man. Oh, <laughs> turn around for the gargoyle, and it's just this giant molten lava dick. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> Welcome to my personal space, population. <laughs> This waste ammo. Hey man, it's all about the experience. <laughs> man, you know, recently, first time actually ever in my YouTube Discover popped up Infant Annihilator. And let's just say I listen to quite heavy shit. I listen to like Deicide and like Gorgoroth occasionally and is it 1349 or something like that? I can't remember. Uh, it's a number. <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, never really big fan of Dimmer Borgia, but like Mayhem I've been getting into lately after watching the Lords of Chaos movie, so I guess there's that, although, you know, just thought I'd check them out just to see what Norwegian blackmail is like. And I used to try and listen to Cerebral Bore, and I'm having, like, I'm more an immolation kind of guy, and, like, stuff like that, like, kind of, like, and Cannibal Corpse I've been listening to a lot. Anyway, Infant Annihilator came up, and it introduced me to a whole new level, and I mean, I was listening to Anon Afrak, which are more, like, heavy, heavy grind, aren't they, really? Really extreme grind. Uh, but with a lot of screaming in it, a lot of primal, and when I mean screaming, I mean like literally they just go <laughs> for like most of the thing, and they're just like screaming as if he's in agony and that on that frack. A lot of his lyrics aren't lyrics, he's just going <laughs> like, and he literally says that and there's no lyrics, um, which fair. Or he just refuses to tell people the lyrics, whatever man. Anyway, Infinite Annihilator. They introduced me to a whole new level of, okay, I thought it couldn't get heavier. And you know when you're a kid and you're like, you're listening to Metallica and you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I can't think of anything heavier. I always equated it to, you know when you're also a kid? Cool. Got him. You know when you're a kid and you're watching like, Pixar movies from the 2000s and you're like like the original Toy Story and you're like oh wow CG can't get any better and you're playing Metal Gear Solid or like the Resident Evil games or well probably not the Resident Evil games, whatever and you're like oh graphics can't get any better I legit remember when I looked at Crash Bandicoot going wow graphics can't get any better and like uh, what was the other one Spyro the Dragon then you go back and see that the horizon is wobbling everywhere and the draw distance is real bad <laughs> and you're like um yeah well it got better <laughs> um it's kind of like that you're like when you're a kid you're like wow i can't imagine anything heavier than iron maiden and you're like you're like oh there is a lot heavier than iron maiden and i still love iron maiden always going to be listening to iron maiden there we go I'm just kind of running because I can't see the big guy with the swords, because... Uh, so I thought, you know, I'd just loop around until I can spot him, Serpentine. Yeah, but like, you you know, you're like, oh man, nothing heavier than this, and then someone shows you something heavy and you're like, fuck. <laughs> Uh, man, I remember the first time I listened to Eamon and Martha and it just blowing me apart and me being like, whoa, that's really heavy. That's heavier than anything else I've listened to. That's crazy. And then picking up a Cannibal Corpse album and we go, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you know. So yeah, you, you get a lot of cool shit happening as you go and search for heavier and heavier shit. And the great thing about metal is you don't get bored of the light stuff just because the heavy stuff is heavier, you know? Like, a lot of people make that mistake and that assumption that we get bored 
it's like, oh, well, it's not as heavy. This is real heavy. Check out this, and we have to get heavier. So, so they still listen to Sabbath, man. <laughs> like, you know, it doesn't make that lame. It still makes it awesome. But, you know, so maybe there are guys out there. There was an elitist man that I used to work with at Starbucks, and he was straight up the kind that was like, man, is it bad if I listen to a band? And he was into, like, Berry Tomorrow before they were big. Big with, like, they, so they're still getting there, I think. But they're doing quite well in the British uh, hardcore scene, uh, hardcore metalcore scene, whatever the fuck they are. I saw them live a few times. I was like, eh, not my kind of thing, nothing that I care about. This guy just runs off into the labyrinths, and then I can't find him, and then he's like, oh, hello. Oh, you're not even the big, big guy. Okay. Just where where is he now? Where are they now? He just keeps popping up from everywhere. Just fucking die. Ah, and then standard. Standard Jimbo. Um well I'm sandwiched. Mm, I need ammo. Gun need gun need pew pew. Gunny Pew. Well, the one thing I don't need. I don't have blood, but my ammo. Oh, you little plinker. Oh. I do the challenge, but I'm out of shotgun ammo. On those guys. Uh, they look like standard enemies from a distance, those guys, and then you're like, oh, I chainsaw it, and then it's like, oh, I can't because they're not actually standard. Actually, there's hardly any standard enemies in this area. Ah, these come down. There we go. That'll help. I have some. Got a little to work with. Um. Oh, great, a Doom Hunter. Uh, I'm gonna need to chainsaw a few people because I'm low. So yeah. Not sure if I'm ready for Infinite Annihilator, or if you can be ready for Infinite Annihilator. <laughs> they're one of those bands where it's just like, they're just... I don't even know. I, I'm not a big fan of the vocal sound, it's just like, very, very guttural. And you know, I, I mean, I'll give them another try. Like, I'm not gonna dump all over them, like, you know, I, I think they're like, they, they you know, it could go somewhere, but like it's very hard as a kindergarten teacher to like <laughs> be like, oh yeah, I listen to a band called Infant Annihilator. That's like not exactly gonna be good. Not saying you bring up in the interviews when you're a kindergarten teacher, though, is it? Oh, what do you do in your spare time? I listen to melodic or like non-melodic, just everything brutal death metal. They're gonna be like, great, and yeah, because unfortunately, especially in a lot of right-wing patriarchal societies still got this kind of mentality of that's bad because you're talking about bad things that means you're a bad person he doesn't believe in the god he does not have good values and you're like mm. but every guy i've spoken to about it as of late they're like hey i've never met a bad metalhead they always you always think they're going to be terrifying motherfuckers basically like the doom slayer but uh, actually, like, they're the nicest people. They're always really friendly, and if they have kids, they absolutely, like, adore their kids, and they're, like, the sweetest people. And I'm like, yeah, I guess. Like, I mean, I thinking about it, I haven't met any bad metalheads. I've just met people who are, like, really real dicks when they're, like, fucked out of their face at festivals. <laughs> you know? Which, you know... surprising really in it. I can't like this is so big this area I really 
confusing the mini bosses. Like build up some armor as well. Oh, there you are. It's probably not the best way to build up armor, but I've got 14 now. Uh, yeah, I listen to all sorts myself. If you wanted to get in on uh, metal, classic metal and stuff like recommendations, albums I would recommend. I mean, I could just talk about albums I own instead. Like, on, I had some albums on CD and some on vinyl. I started collecting vinyls and then I left. Pretty sure my parents sold them all. But like, uh, even if they didn't, I'm not going back to get them. Because it was like about 10 of them. I had a vinyl of... Oh, what did I have a vinyl of? I had a few LPs and a few singles. I had a live single of Iron Maiden playing Running Free live with Bruce Dickinson. That was pretty cool. I had... Did I have Seventh Son? I definitely had Power Slave on vinyl. I really wanted Number of the Beast. Everyone wants Number of the Beast. Uh, that's the problem. And you're not going to get the original now, man. Those things are fucking expensive, so you have to wait for them to remaster and repress. And they, they do that a lot, and they sell them to their fans. I was part of the fan club for a long-ass time for Maiden. And Megadeth fan club, which was not as well-designed website as Maiden's, but, I mean, what can you do? Pay a website designer? <laughs> on this one. Let's just uh, let's focus on the gameplay a second. Um, I mean, like, the way I got into heavy metal, like really heavy metal, was through glam rock, classic rock, prog. I mean, you know, I was going for a really weird route, so I wouldn't recommend my route necessarily, but, I mean, there's a lot of top quality music out there. And then it was just like... Uh, Metallica, one of my friends should be Metallica, and I was like, yeah, I listen to pretty hard stuff, I listen to Aerosmith, I was a big Aerosmith fan at that time, and everyone was like, oh, okay, and then they were showing me shit like, uh, Mega. the first time I listened to Hangar 18, that really blew my mind, <laughs> like, you know, um, well, I locked onto the wrong guy. This Naruto running bastard. I say that every time I see those gargoyles do it, but it's like, it's such a Naruto run. And now he's dead. I'm still focusing on the little dudes, and I'm not really doing much. I got some armors. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, big eye-openers for me were all the classics, really. The classic shit was really what opened my eyes. I was listening to The Cure and Red Hot Chili Peppers and a lot of rock. Foo Fighters for a long time, Nirvana, you know, the usual shit. And then, um, someone just said to me, hey, you do realize that there's, like, heavier shit out there? And I was like, like, what? And they were like... Oh, here, just borrow Master of Puppets. Uh, one of my friends was a huge fan of Metallica. He said, you need to own Ride the Lightning. And I was like, do I? Is, like, what's so good about Ride the Lightning? I just knew basically nothing about Metallica. It was actually weird how little I knew. Um, then someone bought me for my birthday, Rust in Peace. And that just... <laughs> <clears throat> By that point, I had a lot more, like, albums. I had a lot of uh, Maiden, uh, but, like, I wouldn't really listen to Megadeth, and I was like, what is this album? It looks so fucking sick. The artwork's so cool, and, like, a lot of, like, metal. Oh, cool. Never seen that kill before. Uh, a lot of that, um, a lot of shit, like, uh... Uh... Like, you know... 
I, had, I was like kind of just like picking stuff up at random. I didn't really know. Someone bought me Iowa. I said like an aunt or something, an eccentric aunt was like, there's always one friend of the family or aunt or uncle who barely knows you and it's like, he looks like he probably likes Slipknot, right? Well, I got this Slipknot for five pounds. You want a Slipknot album? I bought it for a fiver or like three quid or something. And you're like, okay, yeah, sure. And then it's like, that blows your mind. Uh, first time I heard the riff of Disturbed Stricken. That was actually the first time I heard Disturbed. That's how far behind I was in that. And then Decadence, because it was on the Need for Speed uh, Most Wanted soundtrack. And I was like, oh, I'm going to check these guys out. That's like, I uh, didn't check out Mastodon until I just randomly went, hey, they were on the Need for Speed soundtrack too. Cool. And then, like, by that time, Crack the Sky had come out. <laughs> like, you know, so that was quite a while. The two albums after that. Well, Blood Mountain and then Crack the Sky had come out by then. And I just, at random, in a HMV, saw Crack the Sky. I was like, that's nice artwork. I'm going to pick that up just for the artwork, right? Uh, shall we uh, just see what happens if I BFG this, this fool? Uh, Sorry, whenever I get into these rambles, I just slow right down. Oh, I was going to say, if we didn't at least get into critical damage, that's bullshit. But I am low on everything. Where'd he go? Oh, no, <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to make it, that's why I made a half-assed attempt. Okay, let's just like do some... Oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, listening to um, that shit. If I was going to say to anyone, getting into, like, at the light end is much easier, and it means that you're more likely to stay in it, because <clears throat> you've kind of built up a kind of, like, understanding of what distorted music, distorted vocals sound like, and you're kind of chill with it at that point. You know, if you, in, you know, actually get into it properly, don't just... Oh yeah, I'm cool. I like I'm like all my friends. I'm just gonna go listen to Slayer right away because yeah, like um, uh, to be fair, the first time I listened to Raining Blood, I was like, oh my god. But it wasn't until much later that I bothered to pick up a Slayer album. Someone gave me Raining Blood though, so I did have that one, and they were like, oh, you don't really need any of the others because they were quite opinionated on like um stuff like uh whether or not you needed these things, you know, it's like, oh, well, that's not important, that's not important. It's like, well, there's some really good deep cuts on some of these things. And you'd be like, oh, you don't really need that. The albums you needed this, 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 and this, and you always wanted to be the definitive guy on everything. Like that. And it's like, well, you know, definitely go out and look, listen to the whole album, just because it's like, oh, the trooper is on this album, or like, the entirety of Number of the Beast is amazing. Peace of Mind, which is where the trooper comes from, um, is a pretty good album. It's got a lot of good deep cuts in there. To be honest, there's not a single Maiden album that I've not really listened to at least all the way through uh, several times. But it said the priest there of Dave Grohl. Oh, well, <laughs> something happened there. Ooh. I think I fucked it up. I got a lot of stuff there. Uh, yeah, I didn't do the others. Okay. I missed one thing, and it was the Slayer Gate key. Well, you know, the one you get when you win. 
I don't think I've done a single one of those on on us whilst recording yet, have I? So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say go, but then if it's like throwing us straight back into the next thing, I might cut it here. So yeah, I'm gonna cut it here. Quit out. I've done enough to the one.